Hello! I'm late this week. Oh, not in that way. Although, I suppose this is a good time for a immaculate conception <laughs> this time of year. But no, I just mean uh, um, late doing the little vlog this week due to being on holiday last week. Um, I might have mentioned we went up to a caravan in the Tummel Valley in Perthshire. Just absolutely beautiful part of the country. Really lovely, really relaxing, really enjoyed it. And today is Monday, so I usually use the weekend, but so uh, a bit late. It was first day back at work today. Oh, 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 oh. And I read that yawns are contagious, so if you just yawned, haha. -ha. <coughs> so straight into it studying. <laughs> I don't want to talk about this. Um, as you know, last week I was a week behind, I'm now two weeks behind. <laughs> I did take all my stuff with me, but there was no um, internet at the caravan and there was not enough um, signal strength, you know, network on the phone to create a hotspot. So I didn't do any. Didn't do any studying at all, so I'm now two weeks behind. So I've got a lot to do this week to catch up. Um, I don't think there's anything else to really say about that. I got my results back for my first TMA, first assessment thing. And the assessment wasn't on the course material. It was on me, really, like why you want to do this sort of stuff. And I think it's more just to find out how you write and how you lay things out to see what kind of skill set you've got and what level you're at. So the feedback, I've, I've only sped read it, to be fair. Um, I'll need to go read it properly. But there's nothing there of great consequence that I can see. And then one of the instructions was make sure you post on the forum. <laughs> I've posted on the forum about 40 times. Um, I don't like it <laughs> but I've done it. And, uh, but I'll, I'm going to save all that for a one-to-one -one chat. I've got I actually got another, my next tutorial I think is Wednesday of this week. So by the time I speak to you again I'll have done another tutorial with different tutors as well so that should be interesting. So I'll catch up more with you on that next time hopefully. One thing I have been doing, we've been off, as mentioned I've been on holiday, <laughs> I've been doing quite a bit of crafting. I've been doing some designs for alternative Christmas cards which was good fun and my sister has been making some beautiful hats, she's been doing them on a loom which is bizarre to me, the girl can do no, can, there's just no end to her talents what I'm trying to say. She picks up anything, she can just do it. I so hate her. <laughs> but she's made these beautiful hats, so I was, uh, I've got the, the joyous job of doing the pom-poms for them. It was in my element. <laughs> Great fun. Like a bairn. So, we, um, so, it's quite, so they'll be going on sale soon. I'm hoping to get them off her. <laughs> I hope she's not watching us. That's me caught. Um, not really a lot to say on that just now. Uh, well, just We've been away for a week, it's just been potting about and stuff. I've not really been focusing on doing anything and I've actually been having a bit of a holiday, which was nice. A holiday from a wait. So didn't couldn't make the class last week because we were actually travelling and then didn't make it tonight again. But the thing is, I you know, been on holiday, I enjoyed it. I did all the cooking. I ate a lot of junk food <laughs> and I don't care, I enjoyed it, it was good. It was a break, it was a holiday, that's what they're for. So straight back onto today, I took all my food into work with me, all my snacks and everything, so it was really organised today. Um, might have cheated tonight and then I've got my my new favourite, bunny bites. This is the, um, have you heard of Palm Bears? This is like the Tesco equivalent but cheaper. <laughs> So these are my new favourites and they're really tasty and they're only a couple of points on, uh, smart points on WW. So they've been my wee go-to, they'll be my go-to tonight, later on. And I've done this and I've finished speaking to you. <laughs> um, so I'm sniffing again, it's cold, jumping. And now so my dinner, if, you, if they've got high definition telly, I'm really sorry. These marks, yep, yeah, that is my dinner. I apologise. I'm a, what's it, what sister would call me? A clampet. I am a clampet. <laughs> so there's not really much to say on the way <laughs> until we get back to that next Monday and I look forward to seeing the class and finding out what everybody's been getting on and 
I know that one girl got a stone award from her away who is a lovely girl, so I was really chuffed to hear about that. On to the anxiety. <sighs> anxiety, I find it quite stressful going on holiday. Uh, most folk look forward to it. I don't. The whole thing about changing routine and all that, can, I can get quite uptight about it. But actually, once we got there, it was really lovely. It was really chilled. The last bit, the last drive in was quite horrific because you've got only about 10 miles to go but it takes you about half an hour to drive it just because it's so twisty and windy. Uh, a couple of hairpin bends, one of them I might have misjudged in the dark. And the less about that the better. Um, so, but, but the thing what because it was so chilled and relaxed and we're in a caravan, come and go at our own pace, do our own thing around time, it was actually really quite nice. And then we went into Pit Lockery for one day. We went in there for long, just in, bit of lunch, down the street, wander down the street slowly, back up the other side. And, and back to Caraba and that was that was really nice. Uh, <sighs> the biggest anxiety was probably going back to work today. Um, found out someone else has been um, given their notice. It's just never ending just now. There's people resigning and leaving and that, I mean, it was always going to happen whenever a company comes in and takes over and you have that year of two pay. Obviously when the two pay ends people are going to make moves, people are going to make decisions and it's always going to happen, but it doesn't make it any easier going through it. And then to hear, you know, another senior manager's resigned. In fact, I think he's retiring. Um, it's just it's so unsettling. I just wish everyone would just calm down. I think this is just the way it's going to be now. It's going to be a progressive change in business. And I'm just going to have to suck it up. But it, it, it is a bit unsettling, especially when you've got that overthinking gene, <laughs> or whatever it's called. And you do catastrophize things and you do get anxious. But it just, I don't, I don't really know what to say about it because it's it's horrible and you just got to do it. Um, I've not had a panic, I think I've been panic attack free for coming up to about three months, I think it is. I need to check back actually. I try not to think about it too much because if you, it's one of these things, anxiety. If you think about it, if you worry about it, you make yourself anxious, then you get high anxiety and then you can actually bring on an episode or you can make your life difficult so it's, it's hard because you, you want to praise yourself for your successes but you also don't want to dwell on how long you've been panic attack free and, and you also don't want to have a panic attack and then go oh back to square one again oh so poor me poor me so it's, a, it's, a, it's quite a, it's a fine line a balancing act but we'll get there um, and my life's a heck of a lot better than it was when I was 17 that's for sure and I can't thank uh, the NHS enough for what they did for me eventually. Uh, not their fault, I say eventually because eventually I didn't eventually worked out what to say and do but, uh, and as you see now the research that goes into things and amount of, uh, awareness and that, that I just hope and really hope that nobody at school and high school in the state I was in doesn't get picked up now and I think they should, I think they should. Um, and then I'm just going to, I'm going to cut it short tonight, partly because I'm going to yawn again. But also because I've not got a lot to say. I've been away for a week, been doing hee-haw, been really chilled, lying about, doing nothing, cooking and eating. It's perfect. <laughs> um, I've got a couple, I've got some time to take off as well, I think I mentioned before Christmas, so uh, you never know, you might get one of these videos that's not somewhere with this bogging, boring wallpaper. I really like it. The thing is, my cousin put this up for me and I absolutely loved it when she put it up. I, st I still love it. And she's so, she's such a perfectionist that it's done perfectly. I mean, really well compared to the bits I did. But I, I just, oh, it's a bit white. <laughs> so I'm thinking I might have to get some paint out and phone the cousin to come down. Uh, oh, Izzy! Izzy's away to Mexico. Have a great time, Izzy. Uh, that would be three weeks. Three weeks is a list. That makes life weird. <laughs> and f so what's on this week? Wednesday I've got a uh, tutorial. Uh, I'm hoping this one will be more interesting than the last one because the last one was all about you know being an OU student when actually there's a course for that which you've already done. But this one's actually about the course content and this bit we're doing in the next TMA, the next assessment. So hopefully I'll enjoy it better. Um, Thursday I need to study and catch up. Um, Tomorrow night, I need to do something. I've got some crafting to do. And um, Friday, I'm meeting up with Rona for 
copper. I've not seen her for ages. That's something I've been thinking about actually. For all these people on the course going about, oh, you know, kids, my husband, my wife, my partner, my this, my that, my dog, my cat, my horse, my pony, my dog, my chickens, my whatever. I, I can't, I'm quite a bit smug because I'm like, well, <laughs> I've just got me. I've, time's not an issue. But I've noticed that when I'm on time with my coursework, then I don't see my friends. I don't even speak to them. So I feel like, like I was just thinking, oh, the last time I spent good quality time with Fiona or or the, or the girls or, or I really need to watch that. That could be easy to get in that route of stop phoning people and it's bad enough when they invite me to things and I say no all the time for me not to then make the effort is just, that's nah, not acceptable. So it's all a balancing act as I said earlier. So I'm going to, I'm going to stop. Oh gosh, I'm up to 11 minutes already. I'm such a blether. BSL. This is, I'm really enjoying this by the way. And now, just to be clear, I am no expert whatsoever. And the stuff I know is only through courses I've done and through people I've spoken to. I don't have a deaf um, family member. I only have deaf friends. Um, thank goodness I'm lucky to have some people in my life. And uh, I, I'm not even qualified to do interpretation or anything like that. I'm not going to interpret our exams. I'm only probably, vocabulary wise, probably about age two or three. <laughs> So I can get by and I can ask for bits and pieces, but I am in no way at a decent level. I'd love to be one day, but um, okay, a degree first and then, then go back and do that, hopefully. So we're on week four, so that's D. So we've done A, B, C, and now we're on D. So all we're doing is taking the C and bringing up a straight finger to make it look like a D. So A, B, C, D. And our sign, <laughs> I'm going to do a wee homage to Halloween and we'll go with um, devil. So, devil. Devil. Or, if you're left-handed, devil. I don't know if this turns it around, so I don't know if that looks left or right to you, so whatever. But it's one It's one side, the, whatever your dominant side is, devil. And um, I'll speak to you next week. The Middle Bit. Check the stretch marks.